Krebs. I'm the executive director of the Modern Language Association. We have our uh, Reading Writing Institute program being, being hosted by Princeton. This is a program where graduate students from the region and faculty members from access-oriented institutions in the region, we define that as institutions that prioritize access over selectivity, come together to explore the latest scholarship on reading and writing pedagogy in relation to the students at access-oriented institutions. So PhD students who want to make a career at an access-oriented institutions are working side by side with faculty members from those institutions. Uh, my name is Howard Timberg. I'm Professor Emeritus at Bristol Community College in Fall River, Massachusetts. This particular institute that I'm involved in is aimed at preparing uh, grad students who, who are interested in teaching at access oriented institutions uh, how to teach these sort of essential courses in reading and writing. Um, so they've expressed an interest and uh, we are going to give them whatever they need in order to make this happen. I think um, my own experience at uh, more than three decades at community colleges indicates that you know, one of the real challenges of teaching at a place like ours uh, is the isolation that comes with the job. Uh, people are typically teaching five courses a semester. Uh, there's very little time to kind of hang out with colleagues and talk about things that work and things that don't work. So uh, these, are, these are faculty who want, to, who want to engage in that conversation and hopefully build a cohort or cadre of, of colleagues within their own colleges. Both parties, the grad students and the early career faculty, uh, really kind of benefit from this, uh, this intense week of study at the MLA Institute for Reading and Writing Pedagogy. <laughs> Dr. Lisa King, and I'm an Associate Professor of Rhetoric, Writing, and Linguistics at the Department of English, University of Tennessee, Knoxville. I am here as a co-facilitator of the Institute alongside uh, Dr. Howard Tinberg. We are thinking through some of the most pressing problems. I mean, these are problems that have been around for decades. These are, are not new in terms of how to best serve our most vulnerable student populations, students that need the, the most support, um, the students who are often our most diverse populations, um, particularly in uh, community colleges and um, academic oriented institutions. I think there's a, a lot of good synergy here where we're thinking through what we want to do to support our students in the best way possible when it comes to reading, when it comes to writing, when it comes to communication, when it comes to supporting our students and their goals. Hi, I'm Isabella Musi and I'm a graduate student at the Art History Department at Princeton University. I am also participating in the MLA Institute uh, for Anti-Racist Pedagogy and these are amazing resources that grad students have on campus um, to improve on our pedagogical skills and also uh, if you are interested in anti-racist pedagogy, um, teaching indigenous populations for example, and just being more aware of the diversity that is in your classroom. Um, these are incredible um, opportunities to learn more about these and just be better prepared to be an educator. Institutions like Princeton prioritize a lot of research and often uh, the teaching skills that we get are from our day-to-day -day practices. But what Grad Futures is trying to do is precisely to provide a space where we can consciously uh, build these skills. We are especially excited to be working with Princeton as deeply as we are. This will not mark the end of the MLA's involvement with Princeton. This is just the beginning of a professional development connection with an institution that is committed to the success of its PhD students, the success of its undergraduates, and the success of its region.